on warm-up, we reviewed what I went over yesterday. We added, look at, we added polynomials, we subtracted polynomials. Notice that. That's what we went over yesterday. Now, put your seatbelt on. We're going to multiply polynomials now. We're going to multiply them. Look at how that, look at, I got a binomial right next to another binomial, which indicates multiplication. Okay? That's where we're headed now. Adding them, subtracting them, multiplying them. Tell me how Medina was on, I got the floor, thank you. So here's what we're going to do. Excuse me? Uh, a binomial has two terms. And I'm multiplying by another binomial that has two terms. All you do is multiply every term in the first binomial times every term in the second binomial, and you're in business. Let me say that again. All you do is multiply every term in the first binomial by every term in the second binomial, and you're in business. Let me, let me demonstrate. I'll take this x and multiply by the first term. Take x and multiply by the second term. Then I'll take the negative 2, multiply it by the first term, and then multiply it by the second term, and we're done. That's it. Watch this. See, x times x. Just like that, huh? x times x. And then plus x times a negative 1 is a negative 1x. Plus, now look at the negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. And the negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2. We're done. Is that hard? Let's just clean up some, some of the, the mess here. What is anything times itself? X times X becomes what? That's X plus X. Huh? Right, so anything times itself is that thing squared. That thing to the second power. So X times X is, look at X squared. Plus negative 1X. We're professional, so I'm not going to put the 1. Plus a negative 2X plus a 2. Is there any like terms here in this polynomial? I can combine Right, look at same variable raised the same power. This x and x, and they're both raised to the first power. So I can combine them. The coefficient here is a negative 1. So negative 1 plus a negative 2. Nice. We're done. We're rocking and rolling. We multiply two binomials. x squared minus 3x plus 2. So yesterday we added and subtracted them, and now we're multiplying them. Let's try the second one. So two terms here, two terms here. Every term here, I'll multiply by every term over there. So, so b times that, b times 2. Negative 3 times that, negative 3 times 2. Let's rock and roll. So b times b is b squared. Actually, I'm going to erase this. I have some more room. Yeah. After this. And you're already behind. All right, just, just come. I'm not going to worry about going. b times b is b squared. b times b is b squared. b times 2 is 2b. To be or not to be. Bad joke. Sorry. Right. B times B is B squared. B times 2 is 2B. Negative 3 times B is a negative 3B. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. We're rocking and rolling. Like terms, I got the 2B and the negative 3B becomes a negative 1B. 
done. As opposed to a minus? Is that what you mean? Yeah. In other words, b squared minus b minus 6, that's totally fine. That's an equivalent. We call that equivalent expression. They mean the same thing. So, yeah. And some of you have been asking me that in the past few days. Plus, negative, and minus mean the same thing. It means the same thing. Thank you, Horton. Uh, I'm going to skip 3 and 4 because they look the same. Let's go to 5. Questions on number 2 here, by the way. So you want to try 3 and 4 later on for practice, knock yourself out. So number 5, here we go. 3n times the n, 3n times the 1. Negative 4 times the n, negative 4 times the 1. Let's do it. Nice. One more time. 3n squared. Nice. 3n squared. Because look at the coefficient here is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. n times n is n squared. Beautiful, Soto. 3n times 1. Nice. It's 3n. And now negative 4 times n is a negative 4n. And negative 4 times a 1 is a negative 4. No biggie. This is what assignment 9 is about, by the way. The last assignment before the test. It is. This is the last item that will be on the test. Actually, no, no. no. Let's mark that. I'm going to give you the whole time to study, so don't worry. We're going to do the test at the end of the day today. So don't stress out too much. Uh... Go down to the bottom of the page. Actually, you know what? We're not even done yet. What am I saying? Plus 3 minus 4, huh? Like terms? That'll be a negative 1n. Negative 1n. Try it on me. Let's go to the bottom of the page there. So, now, this is what we call the table method. If this helps you, then accept it. If you don't really care about it, just throw it away. I'm going to do two of them using what we call the table method. This, for some students it's the, who are more visual in their learning and the way they think, this, this is a helpful way to, to multiply binomials and binomials. Let me explain. X and a negative 3, go ahead and put an X here and a negative 3 here. On top, let me put an x here and then a negative 2 here. So look what I do. I put the binomials on the top and on the first column and the first row. And now I'm just going to multiply each item. So look at x times x becomes x squared. x times a negative 2 is a negative 2x. Negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 3 times a negative 2 is a positive 6. And so inside this big this square here, the one taking those three. Inside the square is actually your final your final answer. X square minus two x minus three x plus six. Well, let's just let's just get the like terms together. Negative two minus a three is a negative five x. So this is just a, a way of doing it if, it if this helps you. You don't have to do it this way. We call it the table method. Um, let's try number 12. I can do every single one. So number 12, we're going to put negative 3 here. Okay, that's the first binomial. And I'll put a 4j here. For the top row, I'll put a 3j here and a 4 here. And now I'll just multiply each. So this 
whatever goes here is when I'm going to multiply these two. Whatever goes here, I'm going to multiply these two, and so on. So this helps you knock yourself out. It doesn't, just whatever. I didn't really, when I was your age, I didn't really care for this. So negative 3 times 3i, or 3j rather, that would be a negative 9j. Negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12. 4 times a 3 is a 12j. 4j times a 4 is... Yeah, I did mess up a 12j squared, you're right. Right here, my bad. So j times j, 12j squared, if you're looking up. And I got a 4j times a 4 would be a 16j. Do it. So the answer is right here, these boxes. So let me write it out negative 9j minus 12 plus 12j squared plus 16j. Like terms, I got the negative 9j and the 16j. What would that make up? Negative 9 plus 16. 7j, huh? So I got 7j. I'll put it in standard form, by the way. I got 7j. These two. Um, I'll put the 12j squared first, because we're putting it in standard form. 12j squared. And I got the minus 12 here. You evil. skip 13 to 18 on the other side. Go all the way to number 19. Look at number 19. Um, So number 19, I got a binomial times a trinomial. Notice that. A binomial times a trinomial now. Not just a binomial times a binomial, I got a binomial times a trinomial. So we got two terms. I'm not going to do the table method. I'm just going to go to the, distributor, the distribution method. X times that, X times that, X times that. So that this first term by every term there. And then the negative 2 times every term there. Notice that. I'll just multiply. So we're multiplying. So every term in the first binomial by every term in the second trinomial. Let's see what we got. times x to the second. So let's see, x times x to the second will be x, x squared. Look at that. x times x to the second. Well, let's see. x times x to the second, that's just this. Look at x to the second is two x's, and this is the first x, so this is going to be x to the third. All you got to do is add the exponents when you multiply 
variable times variables. So x to the first times x to the second is x to the third. x to the first times x is x squared. x to the well, x to the first times negative one is negative one x. So there, I just distributed the x to every term here, and there it is. Now I'm going to distribute the negative two. Negative two times x squared is negative two x squared. Negative two times x is a negative two x. Negative two times negative one is a positive two. Look at that nasty polynomial. Now I'm going to combine like terms. X to the third, there's no other x to the third, so that's my final answer my, in my final expression. X squared, I can combine it with this x squared. So I got 1 minus a 2. So 1 minus a 2, that'll be a negative 1 x squared. Go ahead. Takes away. Negative 1x and a negative 2x, those are like terms also. That'll be a negative 3x plus a 2. Done. Done, huh? It's easy, huh? I'm with you. It's just every term in the first polynomial times every term in the second polynomial, then combine like terms. So there's nothing else. To, I mean, it's really not that crazy. Just do one more and we're done. That's my former talk. Yeah, it's number 20. All right, number 20. I'm going to erase this. Oh, I'm going to do it. drag it over here. So 2 times this, 2 times that, 2 times that, negative a times that, negative a times that, negative a times that, we're rock and rolling. What's up, Garcia? There you go. We're on number 20 right now. Oh. Uh, here we go. 2 times 3a squared is 6a squared. 2 times 3a is 6a. Look at that. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative a times 3a squared is a negative 3. Look, this is a negative, this is a negative 1 coefficient. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. a to the third. Look at this is a to the first times a to the second is a to the third. Negative 1a times 3. So negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. And then I got a times a, so that's a squared. And negative 1, a times a negative 5. So it's a negative 1 times a negative 5 is a positive 5a. Since this has an a, the negative 1 has an a, so I can't let that a disappear. Like terms out this one with this one because that's got an a square a square like terms I went over yesterday means same variable raised the same power so six minus three is three a squared All right six a and the five a same variables to raise the same power because six plus five is eleven yeah eleven a Garcia, Sylvia, I got the floor. Thank you. Gone. I got a minus 10. I got a minus 3a cubed. 
When we're done, let's just put it in standard form. I got a negative 3a cubed plus 3a squared plus 11a minus 10. Whew. Awesome, awesome, awesome.